My aunt was very religious, Aunt Masola was very religious. Uh, basically, they, they had few possessions, um, but one of them that my uncle had was a rosary that had been handed down through his family to him. And uh, he was the last of his line, and so uh, he was wanting that to be passed on to be kept in the family. Um, his, I was beneficiary to his estate, and the one possession that he had that was his most prized possession was that rosary. And he only had one request, that it be kept in the family. I am 73 this year. You are 63 this year. Um, I have one daughter, Renee has no children. Um, we have nowhere in the family for this rosary to be kept. We came up with the fact that Our Lady of the Snows was the one place that Uncle Jack and Aunt Marcella always went. We'd always go through the store and look at all of the Donations. All the donations were in the chapel. And, and in the chapel. I enjoyed it so much to be there with them. And it was very peaceful. And I think we were, our mother was always a big fan of uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. And uh, to continue with Our Lady of Snows is just another extension of Mary. Therefore, it was very significant yeah. for us. We It just fell into place. It just fit. We felt. At, at home. Yeah, we felt at home there. It was. It just fell into place. It was a place that Uncle Jack felt at home even after Aunt Marcella died. And, and the rosary yeah. is so lovely, we wanted to share it. Uncle Jack really never said anything or explained to us about the history of the rosary, except he didn't know a whole lot about it, and it came from his father. And it came from Germany. And it came from German, Germany, which when we researched it was Bavarian. So as we were trying to find out a little bit more information about Uncle Jack's family, um, we found Rudolf Joseph Lang, who is Jack's birth father. And Rudolf was born in um, 1893 in Germany. I'm not sure of the specific region. He did have a passport from Munich, Germany, and he immigrated to the States. So we know that the rosary is German. Well, and, and it, it belongs to his maybe even great grandfather. It, it probably belonged to his great grandfather going back that far. Some of those rosaries were actually garnet, and some of them were actually man, uh, Red manufactured glass. stone. It appears that it's the early 17th century, and that fits with all of the the art, the style of the uh, filigree. That, the filigree, the wood in the cross, and the seven decades instead of five of the rosary. And it also has the two little the charms that pilgrimage are not pilgrimage, yeah, which is there, an interesting there's a, story. A couple of stories that on these rosaries, when a person would make a pilgrimage to a location, a holy, a holy place, that they would acquire a medal, a little medal, a medallion, a medallion, and it would be attached to their rosary. And some of the rosaries that you can see have four or five of them on. This one has two and they're both, they both show the crucifixion. So, and this is just guessing, but our guess is that whoever had the rosary originally made a pilgrimage to um, where Christ was crucified and that's the significance of the two little charms. The rosary, actually, because it's got ten, I seven. mean, seven, seven um, decades. decades, that it would, it's known as a Franciscan rosary. The, the value of the rosary wasn't ever an issue because it would never be sold. Uh, whatever would have been done with the rosary, I, we would have found a place um, to keep it because that's what he wanted it to be in the family. And the only way to keep it in the family was to find someone who was willing to take it and take care of it for us. And that's and, when- And share it. And share with it. With everyone. With and everyone. Um, Since this, it's been sequestered away for <laughs> 200 years. And the, this is, uh, I think, a wonderful uh, oh. tribute to Uncle Jack. It is because they were so simple and, and just 
And I said, you know, if, if someone can just keep it with a little note saying that this is from the family of Jack Phillips, that that would fulfill my obligation of keeping it in the family.